Yeah. yeah. He likes smiling. He's been laughing a lot. When you see baby Owen today, it's hard to believe that he came within a minute of not being here. As soon as they couldn't find the heartbeat, then they kind of figured, oh, something might be wrong. In February, Owen's mom, Stephanie, knew something wasn't right. She went into labor at Mercy Hospital with chest pains, and doctors discovered her baby's blood supply had been cut off. They quickly prepared for an emergency delivery. Broke down a little bit, I guess. Um, heard them call for a code blue for the neonatal. And what was going through your mind while this was happening? Is my baby going to die? And I asked him, I said, is he going to be okay? And they're like, we can't tell you. When Owen was born a short time later, he wasn't breathing and didn't have a pulse. For 16 long minutes, the medical team worked feverishly to try and save his life. It was getting very close to a time where we may have said that this isn't survivable and we would have stopped trying to resuscitate. Um, he was really approaching that time period. But then they got a pulse, however faint. And then Owen took a breath for the first time in his life. For a newborn to survive 16 minutes with no heartbeat and no oxygen is rare. To survive without any long-term effects is even more unheard of. A lot of the nurses kind of told us, they said, there will be damage. We're just not quite sure the extent of them. But there wasn't. Despite a traumatic start to life, Owen has passed all the developmental milestones at Children's Minnesota, and there are no signs of brain damage. He was sent home just 11 days after he was born. The gentleman I spoke to told me he never used the word miracle before in his whole career until he seen this. Owen's medical team believes much of the credit goes to doctors and nurses and to something called the transport isolate. It's what was used to transfer Owen from Mercy Hospital to Children's Minnesota. We actually slow down their body to let time for recovery and keep the body cool. Dr. Heidi Kamrath says cooling Owen's body for 72 hours allowed him to beat the odds. Children's delivers 3,000 babies a year, but they won't forget Owen anytime soon. Anytime you have a story that really kind of exceeds your expectations, that's, that's what keeps you going and doing this job is having those wonderful outcomes. One twist to all of this, Owen was born February 8th, which just happens to be his sister Hazel's birthday. She helps me a lot. She helps give bottles and... Not the diaper changing quite yet. Nope. <laughs> Thankfully, there's still time for that. <laughs> yeah, you smile.